Hey everyone, welcome back to World of Gaming. When recently watching the Super Mario Bros. movie, I was very impressed by the Mario Kart references in the movie. However, it made me realize that these references might be related to the Mario Kart 8 Lux Boost Course Pass and Mario Kart Tour. So today, I'll give my final predictions for Wave 5 and 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Lux Boost Course Pass DLC. Please click away if you hate getting spoiled. Do it now, before it's too late. Without anything further to do, let's go! So first, we need to know how many tracks of each game are still coming. Well, a data mine from the Wave 1 files has confirmed this. According to the data mine, there would be 5 city tracks, 4 nitro tracks, 3 Wii tracks, 2 GCN tracks, 1 GBA track and 1 SNES track. The skills sound pretty well. However, due to some switcheroo proven by some marketing errors and internal track names, there ended up being no GCN tracks in Wave 3, instead being replaced by Maple Tree Way, which was originally intended for Wave 6. That means that there are still 3 GCN tracks and 2 Wii tracks yet to release. Now, we have to talk about 3 confirmed tracks for the upcoming waves. Los Angeles Labs was set to release in Wave 4 as the final track, but was instead switched out for Bangkok Crash. A good decision, because of its tropical theme fitting better with the summer, and thus I predict a Wave 5 release, with it being the fourth track of the wave. I'd say Charging Chuck would be a great additional character alongside, due to his unshared debut with California City. Then there's GBA Sunset Walls, leaked for the final GBA track in Wave 5. However, I predict it will get switched around for another GCN track in Wave 5. Finally, Vancouver Velocity was determined to be the first track of Wave 6, and while I still predict a release in Wave 6, I think it will get moved to the fifth track for reasons I'll later specify. With that out of the way, let's talk about Mario Kart Tour some more, because it's a very interesting situation. Of course, we have Piranha Plant Cove, which I expect to come in Wave 5 as the eighth and final track, with PT Piranha alongside. However, there still are many data mines in the files of Mario Kart Tour that might confirm even more tracks. As a matter of fact, there are at least 6 data mine tracks. To explain which, I need to explain how Mario Kart Tour's file structure works. Tracks have code names and abbreviated code names, the latter of which is used for non-static objects within the tracks. Ninja Hideaway, for example, is called Mob NM, with Mob standing for Mobile and NM standing for Ninja Mansion. Similarly, but more abstractly, Merry Mountain is Mob Hill Climb, Sky High Sunday is Mob Ice Building, and Piranha Plant Cove is Orlando, no, I mean Mob Ocean Ruins. The data mine tracks that we have at the time of writing are Mob AT, Mob MD, Mob MU, Mob NU, Mob BR, and Mob DK. AT likely stands for Athens, so that will be our first track of Wave 5. Similarly, MD likely means Madrid, and that will be my fifth track of the same wave. Either one of those tracks, or both, will likely get added in a Metropolitan Tour soon. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Mob MU and Mob NU both likely won't appear in Mario Kart Tour, but instead are test tracks for some objects, like the eel on Piranha Plant Cove being tested on Mob NU. Similarly, I don't expect Mob NU to be in the final game. Mob BR is an interesting one. The name, as well as the data mine linked objects, might make you think that this is a bathroom course. While I think a bathroom will certainly appear, I think BR actually stands for Brooklyn, and that you actually race through Brooklyn's adaptation from the Super Mario movie, with restaurants like Punch Out Pizza and Castle Burgers, as well as areas like the construction site and pipeline being included. This would be the first track of Wave 6, with Major Pauline also being an additional character, as she appeared in the movie as well as the mayor of Brooklyn. Additionally, Mob DK would likely be based on the Kingdom of the Kongs, with the many passages and narrow pathways, with perhaps even Rainbow Road in the background. This would be my second track of Wave 6, and would have Diddy Kong coming alongside, and if Nintendo is smart about it, they could also add Funky Kong and Dixie Kong as alternate costumes for Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong respectively. Despite all these data mines, we are still missing two more Nitro tracks I haven't mentioned yet. However, thanks to ID theory in the Mario Kart Tour files, which basically is how the tracks are semi-alphabetically arranged, we can determine these tracks too. There are two important ID gaps at the moment, 
which are places trying to can slot into. Those are the gaps between Amsterdam Drift 3 and Bangkok Crush, and between Paris Promenade 3 and Singapore Speedway. The gap between Amsterdam Drift and Bangkok Rush is very big, with Amsterdam Drift 4, Athens and another course and being able to fit in. Because Amsterdam Drift is Mob A in the files and Bangkok Rush is Mob BK, Mob BC perfectly fits in, which could stand for Bowser's Castle or anything Bowser related. Thus, I feel like this would be the 7th track of Wave 6 and obviously Kamek would be a perfect character. Furthermore, the gap between Paris Promenade and Singapore Speedway is decently big, so I predict the space to be filled with Mob RR, a Nitro Rainbow Road track, being the 4th track of Wave 6. Now we can finally predict the only 6 courses left to predict. For the 2nd track of Wave 5, I predict GCN DK Mountain because of its recent addition to Mario Kart Tour and me not expecting it to drop alongside another DK course in Wave 6. For the 3rd track of the Wave, I predict SNES Bowser's Castle 3. SNES Bowser's Castle has been theorized with the ID theory for a very long time, but I simply don't see any other SNES track uh, making sense. For the 6th track of Wave 5, my vote goes to Wii Koopa Cape. This is also why I don't see Koopa Beach maybe coming instead of Bowser's Castle. The track that comes after is likely GCN Daisy Cruiser, also due to its recent addition in Mario Kart Tour. Wait a sec, that's 9 months ago?! Anyway, moving on to Wave 6, I predict the third track to be GCN Mushroom City. It has been dated mined for some time now, and because of Peach calling the Toads to evacuate the city in the Mario movie, this makes a lot of sense. Finally, we Rainbow Road would end the Wii Sports Pass, as it's been added to Mario Kart Tour and would be the perfect track to end what has been an amazing DLC pass. Now, there are still some alternate theories I have. Mob BR could still just be the bathroom that Mario and Luigi had to fix, and Rainbow Road could also be integrated into Mob TK. In that case, GBA Rainbow Road would be the perfect track to end off the Acorn Cup, considering its OST starts with a leitmotif from SNES Rainbow Road, just like in the movie. Additionally, Bowser's Castle from Paper Mario could be replaced with a uh, movie's adaptation of Bowser's Castle. However, I think my former theories are more accurate. Furthermore, Nintendo could even add a few more waves, in which case the tracks could be more spread out, which could lead to us getting GBA Yoshi's Desert, the N64 Luigi Raceway, SNES Coast Valley, and others. Furthermore, the capital of Egypt, Cairo, could also be a contender for the Booster Course Pass, due to the presence of impairments on Mario Kart Tour artwork. So yeah, those are my definite predictions for Wave 5 and 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Let me know yours down in the comments. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!